Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropical Adventures here to do a shave and shave review on... That's good to me. So what are we going to talk about? We are going to talk about one of the first shave companies that I ever used when I first started wet shaving. And so this is actually a sponsored um, shave, but like I always say, just because it's sponsored does not mean that I'm not gonna be honest. But I absolutely love this company. Um, they make awesome quality products. They make um, amazing fragrance scents. And so it's not gonna be really hard to um, do this video without really getting really excited so I got a little box from wet shaving products so I want to thank uh, Mel who runs their social media and I want to thank Lee uh, from wet shaving products in uh, Chandler Arizona all the products that I'm going to use in this video I'm going to list below so that you can find them but if you've never used wet shaving products before um, you need to seriously check out their products because they make amazing aftershaves, they make amazing shave soaps, they make hair products, they make fragrances, and they make my favorite uh, safety razor handle. So let's break down real quick. So what are we gonna be talking about today? We're gonna be talking about uh, Matterhorn. <laughs> No, not that Matterhorn. We're gonna be talking about their fragrance, Matterhorn, uh, Matterhorn Shave Soap and Aftershave. And they threw in this EDP Matterhorn fragrance. Thank you. That was a big surprise. Like I, I, I was not expecting that and I am I'm truly grateful that they added that in this for the review. So Matterhorn is, um, inspired by Creed Silver Mountain. And so the, the scent profile of Silver Mountain by Creed is bergamot, mandarin, blackcurrant, musk, sandalwood, and petrograin. And so what is petrograin? I had to look that up, uh, but I've now seen that in other uh, fragrances, so that's bitter orange tree. So uh, I've already put the fragrance on earlier today and all of their fragrances, their colognes are EDP strength and they last like eight hours plus, easy, no problem. So, and their, their aftershaves are not EDP, but I've used a lot of their aftershaves and they, they work like EDP strength. So their aftershaves are just like a cologne. So let's do the product breakdown. What are we using today? We are going to use, like I said, this was the very first razor that I had bought, safety razor. It's called the El Grande. It was about 20 bucks, I think I bought it for. Uh, I've used a bunch of different ones. I always come back to this. I will not, this is my go-to. So this is the El Grande by Wet Shaving Products. I love the safety razor. We're gonna be using uh, Astra Superior Platinum Blades. Love this. We're gonna get our beard ready. We're gonna use some of this uh, Crown Supreme Glide. Get our beard nice and ready. We're going to obviously use this Rustic Shaving Soap Matterhorn. Comes 125 grams. They're shave soaps, no joke. I still have the very first shave soap, which was uh, tobacco, and it's, see I've been in this house for three years. I've had it for three years and I still have some left. Now, granted, I've also collected a whole bunch of shave soaps, but shave soaps last forever. And it's such, it, that's what's so great about um, their shave company and a lot of these shave companies, they, they, the shave soaps last forever. I mean, I, I want to say it's like a hundred plus shaves you get out of a 10. I think you might get more depending on how often you use it. So, and then we're going to be using their, um, their aftershave, which comes in this hundred ML bottle. And you know, it's funny thing, you know, when you think about aftershave, aftershave, of course it smells nice. That's a reason why a lot of us use it, but do a lot of, People, I don't know if you really want to break down the science. So it sanitizes your skin. It cleans, it tones, it tightens the pores. This has got witch hazel in it, so that soothes the skin. And it's all natural ingredients. It's some of that garbage that you, you know, you pick up at like 
the grocery store, whatever. That's what I love about Challenge, it's all natural ingredients. So we're gonna end with that aftershave and then we're gonna use, um, actually back that up, we're gonna use the alum block, then the aftershave, and then we're gonna end with this EDP Matterhorn that comes a 3.4 100ml bottle fragrance. So, got the brush soaking. All right, let's get some of that Supreme Glide on real quick. Get our beard nice and ready. All right, let's whip up some shave soap. So, cue the music. That's nice. I've never had a problem with uh, with lathering up um, any of the wet shaving product soaps. They're not thirsty. I just soak the brush, and um, and I'm good to go. And uh, I've always got a nice, really nice slickness out of them. And the cushion is the cushion's always good. I always give their cushion about about an 8.5. They're I, I think that they're more slick than they are cushiony, but they definitely have a cushion. That's not an issue. I mean, this is. Like I put Cool Whip on my face. So let's uh, let's do our first pass. Cue the music. refreshing scent citrus notes I don't really get the the black current but in a shave soap you're not always going to get all of those um, those notes like you do out of an aftershave so I like I said I put the fragrance on earlier today and I'll get into that more towards the end of the shave but it is a very nice fresh clean um, like crisp uh, shave soaps uh, fragrance that I'm getting so skin feels great like I said, the slickness on, on this is, is about a nine. I really like the slickness that Wet Shaving Products does with their soap. It's, it's awesome. But what do we always say in our shaves? What do we say? Well, you're not gonna talk back, this is a video. So we always do a second pass. So we're gonna load up one more time and uh, that's what we're gonna do. Cue the music. I gotta say, the lather is really, really nice. And I think, you know, what's funny is, you know, when I first started wet shaving, you know, I said wet shaving products was the first company I used. And if the shaving soap was hot garbage, I probably would have gone back to cartridge razor and just using a can of, of shave cream. But because I was so impressed, and I was actually, I was really scared when I first, first used this. And I, did not actually cut myself at all my very first time. Everyone gets a nick now and then, but my first time I was like, I did it. I will never go back to cartridge raising. So enough of the nostalgia. Let's do our second pass.
folks. And I got all cocky and I think I nicked myself. That's really funny. Oh, that is a nice, refreshing. It truly feels like, I hate to get all corny, but it is, it's like you're outside. It's like a nice, refreshing, crisp mountain air. It just feels good. All right, let's, let's get the alum on our face real quick. Then we'll get that aftershave and we'll get that EDP strength cologne on too. So let's do some alum music. Cue the music. All right, all ready to disco. All right, let's get this aftershave on. Again, this is 100 ml aftershave. It's got the witch hazel in there, the alcohol. Isn't that good? All right, just so just smelling this right now. I have not used the aftershave yet. I put on the, the fragrance on earlier. So I smell that bergamot and that mandarin. Here we go. Oh man. That feels good. That has some good smelling stuff. Very crisp, clean fresh smelling. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. And now we're going to spray on this bad boy. They're 3.400 ml EDP strength Matterhorn. No, not that Matterhorn again. Fragrance. Here we go. I really get that really strong, I really get those citrus notes, that, that bergamot, that mandarin. The black currant, I didn't get a lot of, but I can actually smell it now. I think in combination with that aftershave, I'm really getting that black currant now. It's very faint, but it's in there. But really what stands out is um, the musk and the sandalwood are soft. It's not like really strong, like danky. Um, woody smelling, but it's I like that soft wood because it balances out the sweetness that you typically get from citrus. So the citrus notes really stand out, and it's a crisp, really nice, crisp, fresh fragrance. Hence the name, you know, Matterhorn makes you think of like crisp air, and that's really what you get from this fragrance. So if you're looking for a really nice, crisp fragrance, uh, perfect for spring or summer. This is actually a good all-round. I can imagine this would actually be really nice too in the winter time. Very crisp, very good smelling. Like I said, I put this on, it's... I've had it on almost six hours. I just reapplied a whole bunch, but I'm in my own house. But I can still smell it from five plus hours earlier. Uh, all my other fragrances that I have from wet shaving products go eight plus hours. I've got one of them that goes till the next day. It's the tobacco vanilla, which is my favorite. It's a whole nother story, but check out their tobacco vanilla. So that's pretty much it. So I really want to thank Mel. I really want to thank Lee, owner of Wet Shaving Products. I truly love this company. Whether these were sent to me or not, I really love Wet Shaving Products. I stand behind them. I will always stand behind them. Um, I think they make amazing products, um, great quality. The price point is great you truly get a really good product. I love their selection. And I think they're coming out with something new. I don't know what it is. So I'm kind of excited to see what they're coming out with. But this shave was the Matterhorn. No, not that Matterhorn. Matterhorn inspired by Creed Silver Mountain. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Their EDP strength, 3.400 ml bottle fragrance. Check that out. Their safety razor, all these products I'm gonna list below. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. 
and I will see you again for another fragrance or shave review. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.